state had just adopted these new very rigorous math standards. The rigor of Common Core is nothing like we've seen before. And our teachers were frantically trying to take our old materials and elevate them. They realized the kids were frustrated in what they were being asked to do because it had changed so drastically. Together with our PLC, we sat down and tried to answer one of the, the questions for third grade at the time. And I just remember wanting to cry because I didn't know how to not only answer it myself, but how in the world would I get kids to the answer? It kind of felt impossible at the time. So I figured there must be something that we can do to get there. They were asking some really hard questions about how this aligned to the new Smarter Balance Assessments, how this would align to the Common Core seats standards. We were way off base. The current curriculum we had and what we were asking our kids to do was not at the complexity and rigor of the Common Core standards. So then as a teacher, what do you do, right? You find stuff. I had to spend more time modifying everyday lessons just to fit what that standard was teaching. They were spending just an inordinate amount of time searching and then rewriting basically lessons and curriculum. So we needed a math curriculum that was going to be aligned to Common Core, but we needed something fast. People started supplementing and trying different things in their classrooms, so math instruction started looking very different across the district. We found all these teachers conducting these unsanctioned pilots. Kind of felt like we were going renegade and we're going to steal these lessons from over here even though we know we're supposed to be using this. I thought it was kind of a great thing because we were able to go out and gather some data. Several schools had been piloting the Eureka Math or Engage New York materials. We worked really hard to make sure that we were identifying the holes and then trying to fill them using this curriculum and little by little we realized that this wasn't a curriculum used for filling holes. This was the curriculum that you used to get the kids there. We were able to provide a little bit of that voice uh, from the teachers who were using it in those meetings and actually produce some results and actual student work to say this is actually working. The frustration that we had about not having resources that aligned to this new challenge, this is the answer. It's helping our low kids, it's helping our high kids, it's helping all kids. We've got to continue moving in this direction. We looked at the curriculum, we put it up against a, a tri-state rubric that analyzed that curriculum, and we found that it was much better and it met the needs of our kids much better. So with that, we decided to move forward with the math curriculum adoption. It's an open educational resource. It's unlike anything we've ever done before. There's not a publisher that's going to come in with packaged professional development for you. You're going to have to build your own. We needed to train ourselves, and that was really a challenge. So when the decision was made in April to move to Eureka Math, we had to really think about, oh my gosh, this is a huge challenge, but wow, it is an incredible opportunity for us. We had to train over 400 teachers on our own. So we had to assess where our teachers were and really focus on what their needs were. So we went into action. We had our you know, 24 teacher leader volunteers and we began meeting as a group and we had principals involved. And if we can get the right people deeply engaged in that planning process, they're going to come up with something great, and they did. They used the instruction materials in their classroom that spring and then brought forward the challenges so they could share that with their colleagues. We talked about some of the math practices, how is it going, what are some struggles, what are some successes. They had been doing this in their classrooms. They'd seen it go sideways, they'd seen it go really well, and they were really able to bring that forward to their colleagues and share that experience. And we really tried to look at it as something we were all learning together. It was actually kind of freeing. I had been used to using things out of a, a teacher's manual and just opening to this page. And I found myself going online and looking at the lesson. They gave really honest feedback, shared successes, opened up their classrooms, and really helped us um, be in touch with what was happening every day in the classroom, which in a district that has 17 elementary schools can be a little tricky. It was scary for our teachers. For us as adults, we'd not learned math in this way and I never taught it this way. So how am I going to teach this to my kids if I'm not comfortable with this math model? Learning the models was a definite challenge because Eureka Math had dialed into a, a handful of models for kids to demonstrate their thinking with mathematics. It felt really hard that first year. Um, where the rewards really came for us was in seeing how those students responded. Watching the smile come on their face when they finally figure it out. We had teachers who were comparing, you know, just the start of the year in September to January and what kids were 
were doing was night and day. It's unbelievable what students are able to do as a result of this curriculum. Our kids are doing things with numbers that we've never seen them do before in kindergarten. When I tell them, and today kids, we're going to start learning about geometry, and they'll go, yeah, that's exciting to me. I mean, that's the reason why we're doing what we're doing, is because we want them to love math. It's not just something extra that you do because you have to do it. We want them to love it, and I feel like this curriculum does a really good job of getting them really engaged. One of the key components with implementation was involving parents and involving parents early and letting parents know, you know, this is why we're doing it and this is what we're doing and this is how you can support your student at home. The kids are writing on their own personal whiteboards while they're doing lessons. They have booklets for their independent practice. They have exit slips that they're turning in every single day after every lesson. It's a lot of stuff. A program like this requires a lot of printing. We're really lucky in Bethel to have a phenomenal print shop who's able to handle all of our print needs. Download it, print it, package it, and send it off to the buildings. At first it was extremely overwhelming getting this box of materials. For example, one module in fourth grade, module five, is 41 lessons. So that means I have 41 problem sets, I have 41 exit tickets, I have 41 homework pages times 30 copies. I have a drawer that I think it's about this wide and I still can't fit one of my modules in there. <laughs> Some of the local math experts had shared this with a magazine, uh, Ed Week. So Ed Week came out and did a story about our, our effective implementation of an OER. We were actually recognized by the state for using open educational resources and we were part of a grant through ESD 113 to help get this out there to other school districts and to see how we could put these materials together and share them. We were able to do that through a Wikispaces site and we're working on that this year with actually ESD 121 right now, the Puget Sound ESD. We're really hoping that as more people start using Eureka Math, that we can build a really vibrant community of folks who uh, care about math instruction. It is a lot of work, and so when you're thinking about this, think systemically about it, think outside of the box, and get help. We've been really happy with the support we've received from the folks at Eureka Math, um, but we've also been really happy with what we've learned by having our own teachers lead the PD. We've been asked by the U.S. Department of Education to become one of six ambassador districts for OER materials. Our teachers have been amazing. They have jumped into this journey. They've been ready to learn, try something new, have it not go well the first day and get up again the next day and try again. It brought administrators together, it brought teachers together, and I think you'll hear a lot of people say, it was the best professional development, the best supports we've ever had in place. It's changed us forever.